G'day, it's Scott Pickin. Now I'm here at uh, Zach's house. Unfortunately, Zach uh, is too emotional to, to actually be part of this. He, um, he's hardly actually come back to the property. And really what you're looking at here is, is his property. Um, you can see behind me here, you can see the foundations there. Um, and really the house all behind me here. And the challenge with this story was that he was actually out. His parents have a farm out towards, uh, I can never pronounce it, but Karatara, basically outside Sedgefield. And he went to go and help his parents and then all the farmers in that area. And when he came back, he found out his own house had uh, burned to the ground. And what's challenging is that he has no insurance. And um, what's really quite sad is that it was his dream home and he had built it from scratch himself. It had taken him over 10 years to build this property. Uh, as he said to me, it was a real man cave. It had everything in it, his, uh, his kite surfers, his mountain bike, uh, all his memories on, on uh, hard drive and, and, and film, etc. And, you know, that's the sort of stuff that's irreplaceable. And um, his fiance and him have, have really built a life for themselves here. And unfortunately, you know, now without any insurance, it's, it's really quite a challenge as to, you know, what the next steps are. Um, luckily for, for himself, his parents have actually been helped by, by the gift of the givers. If you've watched the Carte Blanche show, you know, he was really worried about his, uh, about his parents. And equally, when he came here to try and save things afterwards, um, unfortunately, he lost his cat in the process as well. And we actually saw him the day after the fires. Um, all he was trying to do was find blankets for his dogs who, you know, are obviously very uh, cold and traumatized, etc. So really, this is another one of those families that really needs your help. Um, real people needing real solutions here in Neisner and um, I went for a mountain bike ride with him yesterday just to kind of understand you know how we could help and what we could do I mean even as um, his fiance is uh, is up in uh, Africa somewhere and <laughs> he needs a break and I was actually like well can we not just help you go on holiday and go and spend some time with her uh, maybe you guys just need some time away from from all the trauma that, that is here and um, his plan is really to to kind of get himself sorted over the next couple of months and then looking to rebuild uh, starting next year and um, yeah really try and uh, rebuild his life from scratch in terms of the bigger picture and what's happened so I've kite surfed with a guy before he's a really awesome guy he's uh, been in Nisen all his life a Nisen local and um, you know for him unfortunately he's built everything up from scratch and, and now it's it's all about starting all over again and so you know, he has, he has been uh, lucky enough that apparently they've raised about 120,000 rand so far. And uh, we want to make a you know, really good contribution towards that so that uh, this, this piece of land here that's been flattened um, can hopefully be rebuilt uh, into, into his home. I'm not sure many of us can understand what it takes when you, when you lose your house after you've built something up for, for 10 years yourself from, with your own bare hands. Anyway, that's Zach's story and uh, again, a real person needing a real solution and hopefully we can be part of uh, at least providing some relief and finding, you know, not only for himself but for his fiance, um, putting a decent foundation back so they can build their lives upon it. Cheers.